So we're making progress with the Commodore 64. I think the problem might have to do with the IO output of this PAL or PLA, whatever it's called, this IO output, or perhaps the multiplexer chip that it hooks to this enable input. So my son is going to first give us a sensible signal on pin 15. This is one of the ROM select signals on the pin 15 of U17. Yeah, so here's one of the chip select signals for, I think it's the character ROM. But anyway, we basically have a decent TTL level signal. So now we measure pin 12, which is that IO output from the PAL. From U17? U17, yeah. So if we look at that, we don't actually have a sensible signal. And if you look at the levels here, this is sort of TTL no man's land. Heck if I know if it's a one or a zero. So either one of two things is happening, or who knows, maybe both. Either the output of this PAL chip is just bad, or maybe it's inherently okay, but there's something wrong with the input on the multiplexer chip here that this input is pulling things down and this can't pull it up or something like that. So my question for the internet is which is most likely to be bad, the PAL or the multiplexer chip? Based on what I've read, apparently this PAL chip can be problematic. I probably have one of these sitting in my office, so I could swap that out, but that would involve desoldering the chip, whereas the PAL we have here is socketed, so that would be easy to swap out if we got another PAL.